Well, we're gonna go up. Okay, let me read a little bit because I miss messages. Ball gangs, yeah. <laughs> Nothing. When I drink tequila, I get really, really sad or really mad. Really? I Tequila is my best kind of alcohol. Like, tequila with salt and lime, like lime wedges or lemon wedges. Like, I get really messed up. <laughs> Tony's a bit messed up right now, so hi. is not an option. Oh, okay, that's, f that's fair. That's fair. Except when Lars is back to talking about people about who we'd bang. Of course, Candy. Of course he's like that. I need to get some plants now that you mention it. Maybe, maybe you do, Nuke. The whole co past convo continues. Oh, he was doing that in your stream. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I got way too funky last week. Really, it was shifting. It was crazy. So now I want something less intense. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't taken and I haven't smoked or you know consumed any kind of. Uh, uh stuff of the uh, drug variety in forever so like i would probably like take two puffs and i would be done for the night i would laugh my ass off i would get the munchies and then i would literally pass out like that's exactly how i am whenever i um i smoke the devil's lettuce you know <laughs> more okay I think we need to go the other way when I drink rum against it yeah I, I I don't like rum either rum is a no-no Ugh. Ugh. rum rum yeah yeah who rum exactly you should no when don't I don't know enough celebrities to pick hall pass without help. Oh, okay. I see that. I don't know. Rum and coke. I got drunk on that, GK. And now I can't. I puke. It makes me puke. I think of it and I'm like, ugh. I can feel my heart. Like, like my... I can feel it, like, just getting out here. I'm like, no. Not for me. Devil's lettuce, I mean, yeah. Devil ate vape. I'm afraid to hit it. I've never... I don't vape. So, whenever, like, my friends vape, I will <laughs> take a hit from them. But I will not, like, vape by myself. Okay, I think I'm good. I think we looted everything that I needed to loot. I was not even supposed to be here. So, yeah. Oh, hi. Well, we got that at least. CBD gummies. Rum is good. High South Lace. Yeah, I I don't feel the need to uh, indulge anymore. I used to a lot, but now I'm just like, I'm good. All right, bestie, we need to, uh... It's a rare thing to know. Hey, if you find a new pistol, I'd be obliged. I have many things for you, my friend. Because I have a lot of guns and I'm too uh, over-cucumbered <laughs> for what I'm carrying right now. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that right now. Malibu and Coke gummy. Smoky Smoke are so fun. Yeah, Smoky Smoke are fun, but I don't do that anymore. I'm just like, I'm good. I'm good. My job, my new job, don't do drug tests. Oh yeah. Oh, we don't, we don't have that here. Like jobs don't test, but I mean it's legal here, so there's also that. The club I work at tested, we all be fucked. Yeah, right. Beer is good. I do like some beer. I vape because I have to. <laughs> Much rather a good old fashioned blunt. Yeah, that I mean that's fair. Like I've been raised on blunts as well. So this is how it goes, right? Okay, we're gonna give him all of these. And then he can also take that one. So we're gonna sell it later. Uh, I do have too many guns, so as usual, so please take those. 
Ads are starting now. Let me see. Oh, wait. I do have a lot of helium three. Wow. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's why I'm so over cucumbered. So yeah. Do you drink beer? I do drink beer or salt lace. Not not a lot during winter. During winter I mostly I mostly drink hard liquor. But summertime I will drink a lot of beer and or cider and um seltzer as well. So you vape to get off the six. Yeah, see I I was smoking cigarettes before. Like I was I was smoking until like literally uh, but does your cider goes in the fridge? My cider goes in the fridge, Corby. My cider is always in the fridge. I'm good. I'm good with my ciders. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can't believe this. Be looking up, be around. No problem. Have fun. GK. Don't go to bed too late. But yeah, I haven't had Malibu in years. Yes, yeah, same. I drank was my sister's wedding, I think. But bar closed. Some, someone brought out the Malibu. It was a fun drunken night. Malibu is like something that I used to drink like in my early 20s, I think. But now I'm like, no, I need something stronger and not as sweet. Someone rolls up enough for me and one hit. I won't say no. I now I say no, Nuke. But I before I would I would have taken some. Now I'm just like I'm good. I don't mix either anymore. So I do either like one or the other. And I drive. I'm often the one who drives, so I don't I don't smoke and drive at all. So yeah. How does one get cider into a fridge? It's impossible. It is possible. Horby sent her some shelf-stable cider. Alcohol. Exactly. Okay, let me see. Can I give him some? Okay, I gave him half of it. I still have way too much shit. <gasps> I can flirt with him. Can I tell you something? Anytime, anywhere. I'm all ears. <laughs> okay, we're gonna say just being around you makes my heart race. Right back at you. <sighs> and then some. I'm gonna wife him, Dexter. Don't worry about that. I'm confuzzled. Why are you con over cucumbered? I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. There's some bottles that he can store in the fridge. What you mean, Corbs? Co Nuke? It's a long standing joke, exactly. It's a bit. <laughs> Hard cider and didn't put it in the fridge, and Mary kept telling me to just put it in the fridge. Like his fridge was right there. His fridge was right by his computer. The man doesn't want to put. You see? I'm being like. <laughs> I'm getting excited now. Poor Sam. is like, why are you jerking your head like this? But yeah. Over cucumbered indeed. I'm over cucumbered with a husband to be J Boog. I'm like. I just started bratting and refused to do it. Oh, he, he's bratting all right. I had the cider on top of the fridge. Exactly. Like, just to say he didn't do it. Just to be like, I'm not going to do what you're telling me. You're not my real dad. That's exactly how Corby goes. You're a mad lad. <laughs> Somewhat. That's the best compliment you could get from Nuke. <laughs> That's just high gravity. Oh my goodness. No. All right. Well, we were nice. We let them sleep. Now we can go and meet them. 
and tell them we found what happened. Can I eat that? I can. Bows. <laughs> I'll hire gravity. Oh, you will definitely hire gravity, Lars. What is this? I shot it. More sunflowers, more burbs. Man, the wildlife here is crazy. Benzin. Blooming slope feather. The absolute authority. Are you streaming? Corby Corbathon. No, no, just an absolute. Oh, absolute mad lad. Oh, okay. I missed that. I just saw it. Authority. Man, I love when she says that. Are you picking up something? I am picking up many things. The first one of these things being you. Oh. Making an, an, an announcement graphic. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I've been running too much. I need to start walking, I think. Miss Mary, what is it, Dexter? Flucking Horse Mender Grazer. Never met that kind of, that little guy here. He's just a little guy. Something's close. No, 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 no. Guys, don't attack them. How's honor mode going, Mary Clamps, in your dreams? I'm not doing this. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. No honor mode for Mere. Mere is playing on the... Was playing on Explorer. Now I'm playing on the regular difficulty. Gotta give me some time. No, 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 no. No. Speaking of which, yeah. Respect my authority. Will you please bring back the mu Mr. Muffin Man? I'll think about it. I'll think about it, Dex. I'm distraught. I'm sorry to hear that. We can talk about it. If you need. But I can't promise anything. I'm not a liar, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm bringing it back and then never gonna bring it back. I'm also being distracted by making Grim freak out by the red dot. And Val is also energetic, so she keeps attracting Grim. Give some cuddles and kisses to the kitties from me. Oh no, we're not stealing from them. They're not gonna like it. I'm distraught. Yeah, yeah, no talk needed. I'm too choked up to discuss. I'm sorry. What can I do to uh, alleviate your... Uh, your feelings? But yeah, Clamps, I'm not I don't think it's gonna happen. Not gonna lie. Uh in all seriousness, I play these games for fun and I wouldn't have fun if I would be playing honor mode, so I might try tactician eventually when I feel comfortable enough, but I'm really not there yet. I just started a normal difficulty with my gnome run and I'm feel like it's fun now, but I would be overwhelmed if it was too hard. 
Where is she? Where's the lady I need to talk to? Is she inside? She's probably inside. No talk needed. I'm too choked up. I'm so bring back char chair <laughs> chair. Do you know the muffin, sir? Why are you there, looking at the f the ceiling? That's fair. Yeah, I mean, if I don't have fun, then I won't want to play anymore. What happened? Did you find those men? I find them and I kill them. Um, we hunted them down and they died like dogs. Uh, they won't be troubling you again. They were in the canyon, like you said. Unfortunately, it came to violence. I'm just gonna say they're not gonna troubling, trouble you again. I'd always heard the Freestar Rangers were dependable. And now I've seen it firsthand. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Um... How know anything about a stolen Hope Tech starship by any chance? Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Yes, the same. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. We don't know. They wouldn't talk. We have a lead, but it's too early to say. They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Uh, gratitude is good, but credits are better. No, I'm not going to extort her for money. Uh, just doing our job. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. Yes, ma'am. Here we go again. Hell yeah. I know exactly where you're headed, and you can just stop right there. Ma'am, I was just helping you. Don't talk to me like that. All right, besties, now's the time to go back to the ship. I don't know where I'm going to put my helium 3. Maybe I'm, I should... I think I'm going to land at... Oh, no, I can't go back to my house. So we're just going to leave it somewhere in my hoarding room, I guess. I just took a video of them playing with a red dot and forgot to mute my computer. So your past few minutes are on it. Too. No. Put music on it before you put this on TikTok. <laughs> I don't want to hear my voice in the background. That's rough. Okay, Sam, we hey, need to talk. If you need something, happy to lend a hand. You want me to carry something for you? Can you lend a hand? I, I, I would have need of your hands. How are you, Meeps? Head Howie. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, wait, wait. He, he's got something for me. Lunch. You read my mind. Here. Thank you. He's gonna give me Benzin. Thank you. You know how to make a girl heart happy. Alright, besties. Now's the time to drop all the loot. Please don't look at my loot room. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I lost like half my weight. Hell yeah, we love this. There we go. Nice. Wish I would <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something, Lars. I was waiting for it. We're gonna put this one in here. And then we're gonna put all these. Oh, I forgot to pick the guns I gave him. Clean your space room, lady. No, 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 I will not. I will, I will, but not today. I will probably clean it tomorrow after stream. 
So I will probably go back to one of my settlement outposts, whatever, gather everything and bring it over there. So, you know, it will be stored over there. Put the Muffin Man song behind it. Yeah, do that. Do what Dexter said. Dexter got a great idea. Then Dexter's gonna like your TikTok, Corby. How's everyone? My, I'm good, Meeps. I hope I hope you can take some Advils or Tylenols to help your head, friend. Please take care of yourself. Think of it as more to love. Exactly. I love you, Meeps. Go back to Lurk. We go back to Lurkies. You're a cutie. Shit, I forgot to uh, pick what I gave him, but it's okay. Corco, that room of yours better be clean next time I go in there. I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. Cora, we need this to talk. This ain't getting around to a tone. You understand? Oh, fine, fine, okay. I'm Can going. I? <laughs> Hello. Hi, can you move? Thank you. Okay, I just want to do a little nappy. We need a little nappy nap so I can get my health uh, I back. Get very, very used to this. You awaken filled with a newfound sense of emotional security. I love being in a relationship in this game. <laughs> Let's go, go girls. girls. Thank you for this. Okay, we need... Actually, where is Cora? She went back up there. Okay, I'm gonna remove my shit. So we can only wear... Where is she? She's not even there. Oh, my mantis helmet is right there. Okay, we're gonna remove that. Getting ready to pass out. Good night. Good night, Dexter. I hope you're you have a good night. And don't get too angry at your at your at your stove. <laughs> okay. Your ship smells so much better than dad's. Like a lot. Thank you, I clean. Hi. Who's your favorite member of Constellation? <laughs> Is this a trick question? I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? No, you're not. No matter who I pick? No matter who you pick. I won't tell anybody. What happens if I tell? It's me, isn't it? It isn't your dad? Still pissed. <laughs> Sorry, Dexter. Let's go to bed, Matt. Night. Good night, Dexter. Pet your cats. You won't get mad. Uh, It's me, isn't it? <laughs> no. You're my third favorite. Okay. Uh, it isn't your dad? No way! Choosing my own dad would be boring. Dad's my second favorite. Uh -oh. But maybe if my book allowance was wow. bigger, that would change. Wow, she's she, she knows how to work this out. Uh, what happens if I tell? You won't. If you tell, I'll tell everybody in Constellation that you said your favorite person was me. <laughs> Then you'll be in trouble. Oh, I won't tell anybody then. Phew. <laughs> I'm glad you said so. She's really funny. My favorite person in Constellation is Sarah. She's so um... cool. I want to grow up to be just like her. <laughs> I've even been practicing being a leader by bossing my dad around. I don't think he likes it much. Your turn. No fair asking a question if you aren't going to answer it too. No, Sarah's dead. This is so sad. Good night, Soundlace. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, let's go. Level 26. Why does this look like the Polar Express animation style? I don't know, Sublime. I don't remember watching this movie. But I'm Elder Gang, so that's probably why. Did we not tell her? She should know. But I'm headcanoning now that she doesn't know. Elder Gang, Elder Gang. I said what I said, Sublime. I, Raven, I. She was with us when this we were running getting away. This a little weird. So I don't know how she doesn't know. Mary, I am the same age as Colleen, and I am older than Colleen. 
I have I'm like seven years older than Colleen. So Sublime She might be in denial. Seven. Seven. I'm about to be third I'm turning like thirty-eight in May. <laughs> seven. Seven, like after six, literally sublime. Like, <laughs> I'm elder gang. You're still a millennial. I'm an elder millennial. That's why I'm elder gang. I'm older than all y'all. I'm an antique. You <laughs> You're an antique craven. Are you spacing out? I am spacing out, Cora. Uh, you're my favorite, of course. Your dad's my favorite. Sarah's my favorite, too. I can choose a favorite. It's someone else. I don't want to say your dad. I'm going to say Sarah's my favorite, too. I'm very sad. I was becoming, like, super friends with Sarah. I can't believe she, like, died. Of course she is. I'm always right. <laughs> Cora, we need to talk, though. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. Uh, I need to discuss something important with you about Sam and I. Good. I've been wanting to ask you something too. Me first. Why did you help us out with Mom? It was super dangerous. But Sublime, for to answer your questions, I don't think I I watched this. Like, if I watched this, I it was like twenty years ago. Like honestly, I don't remember seeing like that movie. Maybe when the last time I watched it, I was high. That that would make sense. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Did you move on already? Are you renting Sam now? I, Sarah was my best friend. So, and the thing is, I looked online, Raven, and it selects the people, like the two people you spend the most time with or who you have the highest approval with. And I was running with Sam all the time before that. And I was already romancing him, but then I stopped and took uh, Sarah in hello. because I wanted to do the UC Vanguard uh, quests, and I thought she was the, she would be the best to do that. And I wanted to do her her companion quest as well. So I literally like I did Barrett first, and then I just left him there. And now I I ran with Sarah a lot. So Sarah, my approval with Sarah was really high already. And then I just like I w I had just gotten back with Sam when we got sam's quest and then we got like the quest where you have to choose who lives and who dies literally like they were all like one after another and it really triggered me because i'm like i was just there like we just we ha we were just having like conversation uh, and having hello. a fr friendly conversation and like being friends and you know she really warmed up to me and now she's not here anymore. I'm like, where's my friend? I'm a baby. Are you a baby, Clampy? You're a Clampy baby. Uh, why do you need to know? Even dad barely agreed to help me out. And he's my father. I just don't know why... Why you do so much for us. Uh, because I care for you and your father a great deal. I could tell that Lillian was in trouble. I had to do something. I always help my friends. I'm going to say I care for you and your father. I know. I mean, anyone around the two of you knows that. <laughs> Shit. What are your intentions with my father? We're not subtle. She's like, she's grilling me. She's like, bitch, what are you going to do with my father? Excuse me? You heard me. Your intentions. <laughs> now. Like, she's like, she, she's going to get a gun out and she's like, answer me, motherfucker. Well, I care for him a lot. Don't tell Sam yet, but I want to marry him. I'm going to say that. I figured it was something like that. Just so you know, I like you too. Yay! Dad's never been happier. Well, we've never been happier. So if you guys need to sneak off to smooch some more sometime, <laughs> you have my blessing. That's how it works, right? This is so awkward! <laughs> I'm so insane. I'm go so gonna say that. I could never replace Lillian, but maybe one day. No, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not replacing her mom. I'm just gonna be the cool stepmom. I'm fine with that. She's inter integrating you. Yeah, she's like, she's such a dad. Exactly. She's like, 
You better take care of my father. But don't be too loud when you smooch because I don't want to hear that. I don't want to have pictures in my head. Uh, this is so awkward. Communication is the key to harmony. <laughs> That's what Sarah told me. Oh my god, everything about this with her talking about Sarah and everything, it's such... It's so gut-punching. Ah. Okay, we're not talking to Sam right now. We're just gonna fly away. I'm running away from my feelings. Hey, Wanna hear a joke? Like I did uh, the first sure. time. Sweetie. Yo, man can always use a laugh. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody! Skyscrapers can't jump! <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute! <laughs> okay. Good one, Cora. <laughs> okay, with the fade out, it felt like a movie or something. Alright, besties, now's the time to go back to Aquila City. There we go. So yeah, she's read a lot of romance books, I guess. That's also my guess. I, and my head cannon is, is that- free star space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. Scan me, mommy. Scan Sometimes I just want go to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. I mean, my head cannon is that she knows and she's like all right let me just you know leave you to it guess you got your dad's blessing i know <laughs> she's like all right friends you can do it i'm good with having you as a stepmother as a um, as a cool stepmom. Keep your sidearm handy. Parts of town can get rough. I'm good. Okay, so we need to talk to Daniel. Where is he? Well, I don't think I've ever been here in the daytime. Oh, I have stuff to sell. Hold on, hold on. It's a strange feeling. I'll carry anything you need. Well, within reason. Uh, I need to check what you have. Okay, you have these. I think we're gonna get that one. Gonna get this, this. This. This, this. I'm gonna let you keep everything else because it's all good what's this one it's a rifle pistol shotgun particle beam shotgun another rifle i'm gonna sell this one i don't need it services tech is in the hot up the front I'm good. I haven't gotten into a fight yet. So we don't need his services for now. Shit, they don't have enough money. Mm. What else can I sell them? Ooh! Did I get that from the guy we killed? I think I did. Excuse you? Interesting. I do have some miscellaneous shit. Deputy badge. I don't need this. I don't need that. I have some plushies that I need to go dump on my bed. Uh, so he doesn't have enough money for the weapons. I think that's gonna be it. Sorry. Spaceport's 
But now that we're here, let's go. Take a look. I get all kinds of yeah, 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 Emerson. Take a gander. Take a gander yourself. I wanna sell the only thing here. And now I wanna buy. Do you have bombs, explosives, miscellaneous? Yes. Thank you for this. Yeah, he doesn't have any uh, explosive shit. I know there's a lady who sells ammo and sh Yeah, yeah. Right here. Arms! Outlaw, I don't do payment plans. Just so you know, keep it to self-defense. I will. She doesn't have any bombs either. Okay, but she does have some ammo. Uh, we're gonna get some caseless. We're going to get some cartridges. Okay, no, she doesn't have anything else interesting. Thank you, ma'am. I don't know if it's because I haven't... It hasn't been 24 hours, probably. Emma, we need to talk to Daniel. Let us go. We got a lot of bars in the city. All class points. Well, they accept me. If you say so, man. Looking for the Rangers, check the upper levels. Sure, sure. Man, there's so many stairs in this house. Better this than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. Well, I just came back from Montara Luna. Where is it? Where are the other stairs? Ah, oh, they're right there. Damn it. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, sir. Hello there. What's the story on Montara Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. And they pretended to be... Them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. <laughs> None of them survived. Unfortunately. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. I mean, shall we celebrate with a drink? You did good, but a celebration might be a little That's premature. also what I've been thinking. Uh, Ms. Wa Mrs. Wagoner is safe. That's the important thing. There are still some unanswered questions, though. I agree. Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? They were odd. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. What I made of them is corpses. Man, that sounds like something like a ball spawn would say. They were tough and well-armed, probably mercenaries. But they were saying that they were there first. And nobody remembers their sacrifice. So it looks like they were indoctrinated or some kind. Like they were thinking they were from the first war. Like, oh, not the first war, but the war 20 years ago. If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Give Slate just this. They hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Sorry, but this is the best I could do. We're just gonna get... They hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. Yeah, they got a good that ship. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about yeah. it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. Oh. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway 
I knew it was going to go back to the colony war. It, it always does. Uh, what happened at the Battle of Nero? The first cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. They were just about there mm -hmm. when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. It's funny. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. We literally talked and about this. Him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. We literally got the same situation when we were doing the UC Vanguard quests. They were talking about the Battle of Nero cost too much as well for their side. And they were not going to pull back, so they kept fighting. And then we learned that Vevictus was fucking alive, but that's another story. Could those men be veterans for the, from the 1st Cavalry? I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. He was too was young pretty for much that. wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court martial for disobeying orders. And I don't recall how long the sentence was. Were they also not in prison like they did for Vevictus? I'm going to say what was the colony war even though we know what it what it is just for fun and giggles. The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. He's like, each side unleashed terrible weapons. Girl, on the other. did you live under a rock? And countless people died. The armistice uh, was signed 20 years mm -hmm. ago, but a lot of folks still bear their scars. Finding the starship thief that those men hired is our best lead. That still doesn't explain why they'd want Wagoner Farm. I'm gonna go with that one. Like the this is a lead, but it it doesn't. We don't have an idea of the plot right now. Like, what's the grand scheme here? No, it doesn't. Just raises more exactly. questions. Exactly. It's a good bet that starship thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger wow. stationed out there. How she can original. introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Is he now? Uh, Council of Governors? The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective. So we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Even when they're not being nice? Because I'm assuming one of them is behind this. Uh, what can you tell me about Ron Hope? Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. Mm -hmm. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Fair. Um, that won't be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. All right. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the first cavalry. Yeehaw. Go to Polvo's orbit. Well, now we have our next. Oh, wait. Oh, ho, ho. Hell yeah. Permanently reload and draw Loretta weapons 5% faster. Hell yes. Did I miss anything here? I can take that. Terminal use mandatory. From Marshall Daniel Blake. Terminal installation. Diego. I'm having a terminal put at in put it at your desk and by Solomon Co. you're going to learn to use the damn thing. I know you like to do things the old fashioned way, but we're you're missing out on important messages. It ain't fair to rely on the other rangers to keep you up to speed all the time. I ain't going to take no for an answer, so don't kick up a fuss about it. I don't 
care how stubborn you are. You're getting a terminal and that's that. <laughs> Blake, this is amazing. He's like, fuck you. I don't care if you're old. You're gonna learn how to use a computer. Recent messages. Fingers crossed. Elga Debray, subject finger crossed. Fingers crossed. Tonight's the big night. I hope you're excited. Now remember what I said. Don't be nervous. You're a great guy and I'm sure it'll go really well. You and Leah are the two smartest people I know. So I have no doubt you'll find a lot to talk about. You've got this. Oh my god, this is so cute. New syndicate in play. Two All Rangers, new syndicate in play. From Daniel Blake. I want you all to keep your eyes and ears open. I've been going through over reports from local security both here and in Neon. And there's a disturbing trend. Seems like smuggling is on the rise in a big way. And there's more on that than one faction involved. Seems like we might have a new player looking to move in. We can probably expect to see some interfaction. A new like hand touches the beacon. That could spill over and put innocent lives at risk. If you learn anything that could be useful, let me know right away. Autumn's really looking, uh, already looking into it, but leads are scarce so far. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrant and the beacon, Corby. I appreciate it. Another false alarm. From Emma Wilcox. Just so you all know, that report we got about the farm on Polvo turned out to be another false alarm. Local security says they headed out to take a look and the man they talked to said nothing was wrong. Funny thing is, the original call came in from a woman and when security asked to talk to her, the man who they met said she went off world to visit family. Normally, I wouldn't think twice about it. But I'd read a similar report of only a month earlier where the call had come in from an elderly man only local security didn't see anyone that old, and when they asked, they were told they got on a vacation. Could be nothing, I know, but if anyone hears about trouble on a farm, let me know. Couldn't hurt you, check it out. Okay, there's a lot of weird shit happening in the Freestar Collective um, region of space right now. Shepard was looking for you. Uh, to Alex from Diego, Shepard was looking for you. Shepard was here looking for you. He said your shipment of components and cryptography slates came in, and you can pick them up during shop hours. <laughs> this guy is like, I don't care. I'm not gonna take the fucking computer. Personal journal, not the best date. Oh no, poor guy. May 6, 2330. Maybe I shouldn't even be writing this year, but I need to get it off my chest somehow. The date with Leah didn't go well at all. I think we spent three hours together, of which she spent two hours and 58 minutes telling me about how great Solomon Co. was. She could have just told me she was already in love and saved me the embarrassment. Of course, Helga's going to ask how it went, and I have to think carefully about what to say since she's the one who set up the date. Maybe I'll just stay single like the Marshal. It's less complicated anyway. Oh no, poor guy. <laughs> nerves. May 4th. I can't focus on anything today. I'm just a ball of nerves. Why did I let Elga set me up on that date? Is Leah beautiful? Yes. Is she smart? Very. Am I totally smitten? Maybe. Do I feel even remotely ready for this date? No. What do I wear? What will we talk about? Am I going to bore her to death because all I know is ranger work and cryptography? Can I stop writing pointless journal entries filled with rhetorical questions and get back to work? <laughs> Poor guy. Charts play. April 30th. Some genius in the Shaw gang decided that they should start using codes to communicate. Diego Brown me, brought me one of their slates, and the cipher was so simple, I actually burst out laughing right in the middle of the cantina. Almost made it and must spit out our drink. When will they learn? Maybe I should tell them to up their game and at least try to give me a challenge. That's it. Nothing else. Well, I'm here to uh, read all your messages so you don't have no privacy when I'm in town. Let's go to the personal journal first, though. Gratitude. There are moments in your life that make you stop and really think about what you've got. For me, one of those moments came about three seconds before my crash landing. I didn't know if I'd survive. It really felt like a 50-50 shot. 
What I remember the most about that moment is just an overwhelming feeling of gratitude for this job, for the other rangers, and for every inch of this big, ugly, smelly, wonderful town that I call home. That sounded that 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 went into another direction. Note to self, never ever lose that feeling of gratitude. In fact, that's my new life. In my new life, go die smiling. Cupid's got nothing on me. Okay, so this is uh, the terminal of the girl who set her co-workers up. Guess I'm smiling today. Why, you ask? Of course, I realize I'm basically talking to myself here, but I've heard a little gloating. Because Leah agreed to go on a date with Alex. Yes, my month-long project has family finally come to fruition. And, I, and love is surely in the air. No. If this works out, I think I'll ask them to name one of their inevitable kids after me. Well, maybe not if it's a boy. Maybe then I'd have to be a similar name, like Elgo or Hellborg. On second thought, no. These are terrible. Grounded. Serves me right for getting my hopes up. It was all I was all set up to get back to work, and then the duck says she won't approve me for field duty. I feel fine. I'm not even sore anymore, and my breathing's more than good enough to work. Hell, the job's mostly just flying from place to place and talking to people. It's bad enough I was laid up in bed for so long. I guess the wait is always worst right at the end. Whatever it is, I'm totally stir crazy here. Poor duck. I'm probably driving her crazy. Just need to hold it together a little longer. Okay, and what other messages? Okay, this one we read. Get well soon from Diego. He heard you finally up and about. Like they say, any landing you can walk away from, right? You take it easy. I know the recovery is going to drive you crazy. If you need to blow off some steam, I'm here. We can do a little Ashta target practice on the wall if you want. Or just grab a beer and talk about the marshal behind his back. Whatever it takes. Get well soon, Herman Hermanitas. New syndicate in play. We read that. Latest test results. To Elga from Mer Marie Mary Cartwright. Helga, some good news and some you won't like, but I want to focus on the good. You're making great progress in your recovery. In fact, you're ahead of schedule. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Unfortunately, I'm still not ready to approve you for a return to field duty. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but there's still the risk of a setback or complication, and I want to be I want to be on hand in the event something comes up. Just stay the course and be patient. All signs point to you being back in the field sooner rather than later. Well, thank you, Doc, for that. It's really an honor to be able to help out. Good for y'all. I don't think there's any other computer. Oops. <laughs> I'm here. And I'm just like... Can I get out of here? Yes, I can. Where am I? What's this? Oh, oh. Uh, the answer to the question, if your friend jumps off a cliff, would you? No. No, sir, I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, besties. We're going to talk to Sam here. Sam? Because we need to talk to him now. <laughs> you know, you have a hell of an effect on people around you. Um, wait, I thought we had to talk. Hold on. I know their activities. Talk with Sam. I didn't even get to go to Paradiso with Sarah. That's so sad. Sam? Never quite had a friend like you. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Ask away, my love. Okay, there's nothing here. I don't know if it's because maybe I need to save. 
and like load. Ready to tackle whatever the Starfield throws at us. Maybe he needs to be in the ship or something. Hold on, this is my house now. If you are ever looking to buy. Wait. Furniture. Do I have anything for a bed? No, I don't have anything for to craft a bed. Wait. Um variant. Nice. I think we're gonna go like this. Uh, I cannot build it. I don't have enough fiber. I left everything on the ship. Never mind. I was like, I'm gonna make a bed here and then it's gonna be it. But no. Can I dump anything in here? Well, I mean, I could put this in there. That's it. Let me see if we can talk to him now. I'm the best realtor in town, if I don't say so myself. Wow. This guy is so full of himself. I'm so full of never leave their hometown. Nope. Okay, anyway, let me open the log again. Faction. Where hope is built. Let's go to Polvo. And we'll see. And then maybe I can talk to... Maybe I can talk to Sam in my ship. Free Star Collective Consulate. Nice. <gasps> Jesus Christ. The trade, the trade authority in involved in smuggling, I wouldn't believe it. Sarah Philburn, beer run. Wait, what? Who's that? Is it a miscellaneous? Where is she? She was right there. Taking a long trip on one of those jiving cruises. You heard of the Elios retreat? It's supposed to be some new age healing center for reforming criminals or whatever. I'm going up in Ixel too. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, of course, we're getting more side quests. Hi, Tom. Listen, no offense, but I'm swamped. I didn't even hear anything about beer. It just popped in. Hi, ma'am. A good business person shouldn't let their personal attachments become an obstacle to success. Sarah, is that it? If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. Why are you being but so dismissive? Please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave they don't need any more encouragement are things okay between you and your husband 
Dear me, no, Weston's a fine man. If anything, that's why I want more from him. He could do even greater things. If only he could see that. Uh, that's a strange way to say hello. There's nothing wrong with brewing. Just check out any bar in town. I kind of want to say that. I'm like, why are you being such a bitch about what he likes? But I'm going to say that's a strange way to say hello. Oh, sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one. Okay. But he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Okay. Seems those two are content to think small. Maybe they like it like that. Maybe they just don't want to become, you know, the big bad guy that we see in every capitalistic, you know, society. I don't know. Uh, people have a right to lead their life the way they want. I see your point. They could be saving some lives. Sounds like quite the predicament. Like, this one is really like, oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Ads are starting in two minutes, guys. I'm gonna say people have a right to lead their life the life the way they want. I mean, you're right, of course. But with a little more hard work, so much good can be done. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? Uh, trouble with the family business? Well, no, not as such. I mean, the business is doing just fine, but it could be doing even better. Those knuckleheads have so much God-given talent, and I just wish they used it better. Why not take on a role in the business itself? Crying out loud, spit it up, and try to come between Weston and his brother? They'd never allow it. Oh, I've tried to drop hints and make suggestions, but it all falls on deaf ears. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, of course. The company's healthy, and Weston and I live well enough. I just... I'd like to help, you know? I'd like to be a part of things okay. instead of feeling like I'm playing second fiddle. I suppose I should just accept my lot and try to find peace with it. Mm. Hey, Fady, how are you? There must be some way to resolve the impasse with Philburn Agricultural Systems. Well, there is. But? The but... stakes are huge. With further R&D on Intelweet, the entire settled systems could benefit. Surely that's worth some less than savory solutions. Ma'am, excuse you? Oh, Layla, merci. Layla is cleaning my hand. She's like, I'm washing myself, so I might as well wash your hands, you filthy human. Thank you. I'm tired of her, but good, nice. When's you, when are you starting the new job, Fady? Okay, uh, could Intelliweed, Intelliweed really be that much of a game changer? Right now, it's tailored to Aquila's biomes, allowing wheat to flourish in places it normally couldn't. But if Henry applied himself, who knows where else we could grow Intelliweed? He may be frustrating, but Henry's the smartest person I've ever met. Just don't tell him that. <laughs> Ending starvation is worth breaking a few eggs. Don't try to fool me. This isn't about altruism. It's about greed. I might be interested. Depends, depending what you're talking about. Because, yeah, she was like, I want to end and I want to help. But then she's like, I don't care about if I take unsavory means to, you know, achieve my ends. I'm like, eh, I'm not sure. You Do you really want to taint... The whole business, like the family business for something that might work. But if you get caught, then your reputation is gone. And then your business is all gone. So, I don't know. I might be interested, depending what you're talking about. Don't try to fool this me. This is just awkward. This isn't about altruism. It's about greed. I can't pretend it wouldn't benefit my family if we develop IntelliWeed. But you're wrong. This is about what's important for everyone. Henry's pet project is tied to market perception. His beer, 
annoyingly, is really good. But if we could make a bad batch, terrible, really, his margins are tight enough, he might be forced to throw in the towel. I don't like that. I don't like that she's like, she feels like she needs to put him down in order to put her up. Like, why not do both? Why not get like a brewery and, and, you know, starvation? March 6th, nice. Let's go. Now that's the, the old job is next Friday. Yes. I'm so happy for you, Fiddy. Uh, how do I screw up this badge? I'm still going to ask about it. Henry bores everyone to tears about how crafting beer is so much more art than science. It's delicate. Surely it wouldn't be too hard to mess it up, right? I don't like this. Uh, depending on the size of the batch, your plan should work. I won't poison anyone. I don't know about any about all of this. I won't poison anyone. I don't know about all of this. It should be easy. The next big batch of beer is almost done brewing in our factory. You just need to find a way to break in without getting caught by the guard and tamper with it somehow. Then just wait a day or so and see how the batch goes over at the Stone Root Inn. Do that and I'll pay you handsomely. That's the last I'll talk of this. Can I like... Can I... <laughs> Can I be a narc? And report her. Can I be uh this is revolutionary? Why waste time with brewing when you can do so Can I be the snitch if I don't get stitches? Cause that's not a nice thing for her to do. You you're um <laughs> you're something else. And you too. <laughs> Nice All right, besties. Hat. Nice hat. Thank you, sir. My future husband gave it to me. Look at my hat. Yeehaw, motherfuckers. Yeehaw. Ouch. Ouch. That didn't go well. No, it hurt. Okay, um... What was I? Okay, sabotage. I don't want to sabotage that. We're gonna go to Polvo. What time is it? Okay, it's been three hours. I think we're gonna start that. Oops. Okay, there's this. Yeah, my ship's over there. Yeah. Love that. Whoops. There you go. Ever run into spacers? Scumbags. Woo! <laughs> in the mud! <laughs> Sliding in the mud! All right, besties, let's get in. Mm -hmm. I think I know we're gonna raid after that. Hello there. Uh, you must have a favorite book, right? Oh, that's my favorite question. I've thought a lot, lot. Lot about I this. It's a very important connect so all. much with her. My favorite book is 
journey to the center of the earth by Jules Verne. Oh, I love it's that for her. It's about some explorers who go down a volcano and find a secret underground world below Earth's surface. They do. It's a great story, even with the scientific inaccuracies. Back when it was written, people didn't know the center of the earth is a huge ball of molten metal. No, they didn't. I love her. She's so cute. Um, hey, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say that though. So how'd the talk with Cora go? <gasps> it worked. We're having the talk. Um, what was I supposed to talk to her about something? <laughs> yeah, good one. For real, what did she say about us? He's like, don't mess up, don't mess with me, woman. I got her blessing. She says we're good for each other. You're not the only co I care about. Uh, she signed off, and you owe me for that talk. I'm gonna say the second one. She says we're good for each other. You're not the only co I care about. I sometimes wonder how she could be my kid. She's smarter than I ever was. I keep thinking back to what you were saying, that we're lucky. I don't know, luck is uh, too small a word. With so many people out there, the odds of well finding you feels like, uh, Destiny. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm trying to play it cool. But you gotta know. I'm crazy about you. Oh my and, god. Well, <laughs> how do you see this playing out? Scream, screaming, crying, throwing up in the club right now. I see us wildly, madly in love and enjoying every minute of it. I don't know, but I'll be f it'll be fun finding out. <laughs> hey, I'm going to do the commitment right now. I see sharing our whole life together forever. Let's go. We're going all in, folks. I'm a I'm a I'm a taken woman now. Sorry, not on the market anymore. At least in this game. How do you do that? Right when I think I've got it all figured out, you just rock my world again. In the very best way. I mean, say that again. I hoped, maybe even prayed. You mean it, right? Uh, I assume that means you wanted to. I mean it with every fiber of my being. Oh my god, I'm so for. I'm so here for the cheesy dialogue. Like, <laughs> I love it. Said it. I know, right? You're the man for me, Sam. Saying that, though, I love that. You're the man for me, Sam. <sighs> I'm gonna be with you. And never let go. Well, apparently we're having a ceremony. Anytime you're ready, head over to Aquila City. Figure it's about time to make some genuine good memories at the Co Estate. Can't wait. Damn! The man is like... You wanna get... You wanna get this? You wanna get married? Well... I'm ready. So where are invites at? <laughs> right now, I'm telling you guys. Jan, you're invited. Of course you're invited. You're the bestie. Like, who would I be without you teasing me about that? Sam never asked for this. <laughs> Sam did ask for this. Sam has been flirting with me since I met him. He was like... I know you like you like to look into my baby blues and everything. I was like, excuse me, sir? Sir, is this flirting? Who could blame him? I know, right? Oh, <laughs> bestie, please, Jen. We're not going to do this right now, though. We're going to let him cook, Caleb. <laughs> Unrelated tension, but I'll wait because I'm screaming on the inside. Okay, no problem, but you can let us know whenever you're ready. I think we're gonna do the wedding tomorrow. So this way, you know, I'm keeping, you know, the suspense. And tomorrow we're gonna get a wedding. I never asked for this as an antique joke. Yeah, catchphrase for an old game in this. The same voice actor did. Oh, really? Which game? Because I know it was Adam Jensen. In, um... 
I don't remember the title right now. Was gonna wait if you did the wedding now. No, no, I keep it for tomorrow. Do sex exactly. I've never played, but I've seen a lot of you know things on YouTube and Twitter about that. But Jen, save it for tomorrow. Because I know your jokes always make me laugh. So. <laughs> Banish your ghost, fat fingered. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we all have fat fingers here. Okay, I'm supposed to go to. Hold on. Polvo. Oh, it's over there. Posture check. Trevor Morris did the score. I'm screaming. Oh, he's good. That was it. Thank you, Nuke. I already did the hydrate. I figured you were gonna. Mayday. Mayday. This is Freestar Ranger Nia Uh oh. Bestie, why are you? Where is she? Oh, I was in the scanner, that's why. Is she in the station? She's over there. I was like, where's the ship? But Jen, I hope you're enjoying it. She's in trouble. None of the rangers that he scan you could help her. They were too busy finding drugs. They're like the US. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to make a joke about that because uh, the US are a little bit crazy when it comes to drugs, you know? Okay, I had some lipstick in the corner and was, I could feel it. I'm like. But yeah, I thought exactly the same thing, Revo. How so? Hi, how are you? Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. But you're right. I was like, don't you guys hear that? Maybe they're, maybe they're like, full distortions on the scanner. I don't know. We're not doing this right now. Calm down. Where is she? Ow, I hurt myself. But yeah, I thought exactly the same thing. Please, I only bought this because someone said it was up there with Mass Effect. Let you know how it is. You might be interested. It's a love story, but also a ghost game. Okay, no problem. I, I could do that. What's it called again? Banisher's Ghost? Uh, Ghosts of New Eden. I think I heard about that. Okay, anything else that needs to be repaired? That's weird. Okay, but I'll put it on the list, Jen. When you're done. Is 
If it's similar to Mass Effect, I might be interested in it. What? What the fuck just happened? Are you okay? Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. Uh, I'm Ranger Deputy Mary. Just signed up. Show badge. The Marshal sent me to find you. I need your help. Well, it's a nice ship, but no, I'm not here to steal it. No, no. Marshal sent me to find you. I need your help. <laughs> oh, you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. You need a stim pack? I was tracking a crew of outlaws or that been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Uh, are those outlaw ships still in the area? No, no chance. They took as much of a beating as I did. While outnumbering me, three to one, I'd like to point out. Good job, ma'am. What do you need me to do? Repair my ship. Please. I'll see if I can get you flying again. And we need to see to get you to a doctor, though. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch it up Hi, enough to get Hi, Olivia! The rest can Hold get on. fixed up there. How are you? Welcome in. Thank you for the, for the raid. I appreciate it. Hold on. Let me give you a shout out. Oh, wow. I can type for the my life. Okay, it worked. <laughs> I was like, it's all in caps. It's okay. We can do this. Because I was talking to this lady and I interrupted it. And now we, sh I don't know what to tell her. <laughs> I, I forgot what we were talking about. I know we were talking about her, her ship. We need to repair her ship. So I repaired already two parts of her ship. Uh, how about some credits for my trouble? I'm not going to ask her for any money for that. I'll help you, but I'm going to want a favor in return. Don't need to ask for that. I'd have helped you anyway. Okay, good. Since you're new, here's a lesson for you. Rangers look out for each other. Always. Rangers are a team. No need to curry favor. <laughs> I knew he was going to be mad, but I'm like... My character is a bit of a... Um, I'm not going to steal anything from her. My character in this game is a little bit like... A, not a lone wolf, but she's a little bit of a merc. So she's trying to get something out of people and stuff like that. Like, whenever she can. So it makes sense that she would request for you know if i help you if i scratch your back you're gonna scratch mine you know even though sam disliked that it's okay you do have to go but have fun the rest of your stream thank you again for the raid bringing your community over i appreciate it please take care of yourself i'll see you around uh okay where do i need to repair the thing i think it's on the other side probably it looks like it is because we already repaired two out of the three things. Also, this ship is spacious. Nice. We did good. Sam, you're not mad at me because I wanted to ask for a favor. I don't need this. Thanks. That should get me home. Are you good now? Uh, next time, bring some backup. Happy to help a fellow ranger. Those outlaw ships still need to be dealt with. I uh, know. I'm gonna say happy to help a fellow ranger. Good. There aren't many of us out there, so it makes all our lives easier when we can help each other out. Now let's talk about those outlaw ships. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them Shit. again. I need to we find can't them. Let that happen. I hate fighting in space. What can you tell me about those ships? Light armaments, not too fast. Pilots are gifted amateurs, but still amateurs. You'll be outnumbered, but they'll be damaged, which should even things up for you. I didn't come here to fight outlaw ships. That's me <laughs> crying. Uh, just tell me where they're they were headed, and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting. I'm like, why? I hate that. I don't want to go. I don't want to go fight 
people in space. This is the thing I hate the most. Can I steal her credits? Hey, hey, thank you. It's mine now. I was like, where is she? She was right behind the station. That's why I couldn't see her. Because her ship is right here and the station is right beside it. See? Okay, where are they? Didn't she say they were heading for... Hope Town is over there. They were heading for Miata. So we're going to another move. I need to put my suit on. Yes, please go to bed, bestie. go and I destroyed five ships hell yeah nice okay we have hold on thank you so much for the stream thank you so much for being here I love you colleague Please take care of yourself, bestie. Okay, we got that one. And there was a third one over there. Nice. Well, now they're dead. They dead. Dead and done. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go uh, land on the other ship. Uh, not the other ship, the other uh, planet. I think we're supposed to go on Polvo, exactly. So I'm gonna fast travel back there. We're gonna land. I think that's Approaching it. Approaching ship, you've entered Freestar Collective space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to Hope Town. Okay, good. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Sure. Scan. Thank you, ma'am. Well, this is where we're going. So let me land, and then we can end stream, and we'll start over. Uh, we'll start from there tomorrow. Ron Hope was a blue-collar deep space hauler who spent his life savings to establish Hope Tech. Hey, 
Is she there? Probably. I think I need to repair my ship. There's a lot of, of, of stuff coming out of my thrusters and to think such. one man made all of this. Nothing was here until Ron Hope. Really? Hope time. Yes. Sure thing. We'll get it fixed up. Good as <laughs> Don. Yes, my ship has big balls. That's what she said. Hi, Don. How are you? Last time I had a lot of stuff coming out of my thrusters. I had to go see a doctor. I. <laughs> Both of y'all. But I swear you can see the fire coming out of the thrusters. I was like, mm, maybe I need to get to get it to a repair shop. I don't want to hear any complaints. Can I shoot you for that? Wait, did I? I don't have anything to sell them. We're good. Good getting ready for bed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, folks, anyway, we're going to save. I'm also, I also need to get ready for bed. It's 1130 here. But thank you again for the stream. It was great. We, uh ask we asked for sam's head and he said yes 